I'm sorry, I feel like I'm in a museum when I look outside here. How cool is that? You feel like you could be in the Getty. Maybe that's how we should market it, by your own museum. Oh, what's up, San Diego? Altman Brothers are back. Yeah, that's right. Come on in here. We're about to show you Altman Brothers' newest listing. We're here with our rock star, Jason Sachs, right now, who runs the office out here for the Altman Brothers. We're here at our newest listing, 6002 Via Posada del Norte in the north side of Fairbanks. A little over 12,000 square feet. This house is just insane. It's the only guard gated community where all the guards are armed. Uh, and that's the only one in all of Rancho Santa Fe, and to my knowledge, the only one in San Diego. That's right, so they're armed, I'm armed, two guns. Let's go. First thing for me when I saw this the first time, was I was kind of blown away by just the landscaping in general. I think that it's extremely lush and it kind of lends to the style which you're gonna see, which is not the typical style here, right? Definitely not the typical style you're gonna find in Fairbanks or the ranch this house. Uh, another thing to note, what's so unbelievable about this community is when you come through those guard gates, uh, you have access directly, you can walk directly to the school. So you can go directly to Solana Santa Fe. You never need to leave your gates. It's an equestrian community. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is not the typical architecture you're gonna find here in Fairbanks Ranch. So, did you guys hear that? So basically, you send your kids to school here, they're still in the guard-gated community. That's it, you don't ever have to leave. Behind us now, you're about to see the second entrance to this. Now, this house is about 12,000 square feet, right? That's right. There is 22,000 square feet of stone that was brought in to build this house. I love the mix of the water uh, and the stone throughout the house. So this is actually gonna go inside the house. It starts out over here. It's kind of very soothing, right? Very soothing. I mean, it gives that tranquil feeling. And I mean, and then wait till you see where it carries through the entire front entrance of this. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. You get this weather every single day? Every single day. That's why people are coming to San Diego. Check that out. Where the water flows in under this gate into the house is very cool. It's got that very relaxing feel. You got the sound of water. Uh, and this sculpture just caught my eye originally when I walked through here. Comment below if you think you know what this sculpture is. And uh, I'll give you a beat, but I'm gonna tell you what it is. Ready? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. See that, the eye, the ear, the mouth. I don't know what order it goes in. See no escrow, hear no escrow, speak deals. I love how they have all this outdoor art here uh, that leads you into the house. And again, the water flows under this into the actual house, which is nice. So all the way out where we met you till here, you've got a beautiful water feature. 12,700 square feet. Most of it is on this main level, which is really nice. And believe it or not, you know, there are rules in this community. You cannot build modern houses. Correct, you cannot build a typical white modern box in here. You have the whole entire architectural board that looks at everything. Um, so this, this alone is just different again than what you're gonna see here. Well, let's go outside first because that's what caught my eye. So this is one of the biggest properties in Fairbanks, correct? That's correct, and it's a little over eight acres. We're five miles away from the ocean, right? Five miles to the ocean, absolutely. And then we got about 50 miles of mountains over here. And what's very cool is that you can walk on this property for almost a quarter mile without even leaving the property. So if you're big into uh, hiking, uh, you can do that. And then of course you can exit the property and walk for 50 miles if you want to. But that's one of the really appealing things about this is the fact that you have so much land here. What's really nice and where we really see about 20,000 or so square footage of stone that they did bring in here is throughout the indoor outdoor flow. You have the pocket doors, which is really nice. And then you also have the screens. At the screens, just in case it gets a little windy or you wanna keep some bugs out or whatever it is, uh, this is what that's perfect for. So you get the best of both worlds is 
well. So you have many different sitting areas throughout this house because again, it's a really good size. One of the biggest houses over here at almost 13,000 feet. And as well, you have this beautiful fireplace. And this is kind of like a scene in itself, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, when you have this on, because you can see it from the outside, you can see it from the inside. It lets off a ton of heat. And then with the way the glass, it reflects back out to you, it's pretty crazy. As you can see the stone that we were talking about, you see it throughout the house. You see it over here in a different way, a different cut, uh, as well as the glass partitions are really cool. This is a massive showpiece right in the middle of the house. I love fish, I'm a scuba diver, but this was interesting and why is it so clean? Well, there's no fish. During COVID, uh, they wanted to avoid people coming into the house, so they emptied it out, kept it extremely clean, and I actually like it. I feel like it's kind of a, a, a piece of art in itself, right? Yeah, I mean, when you first walk in, it's a statement piece. It is, I mean, it is art at its finest. Let's go check out the kitchen. So I've never seen this, but if you look at all the cabinets here, everything has an automotive finish. I've never seen it uh, in a house. I've seen it in cars, but never in person in the kitchen. You put your pots here. It's built in, which is insane. And then you raise this HUD. There you go. There you go, induction heating wok, gas heating, uh, pretty much everything, fondue machine or rice cooker, depending on how you want to use it. So you got a, a mix of Wolf and Gagano, so super high-end appliances throughout the house. You guys want to see more? Let's check it out, come on. So throughout this house, you have multiple skylights. So there actually is not many lights on in this house right now. We actually did that on purpose because we wanted you to see how light it is without actually turning everything on because of the skylights. Skylight there, there. This entire house is broken up with skylights up there. And a lot of the skylights here actually open up. So they're all motorized, not all of them, but a lot of them are motorized, which allows air to get in and you get really a nice flow. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm in a museum when I look outside here. How cool is that? You feel like you could be in the Getty. Oh yeah, I mean, this is a museum of itself. I think it's probably the only museum within Fairbanks Ranch here. <laughs> Maybe that's how we should market it, by your own museum. All right, so we're gonna show you a few of the rooms down here. We're gonna go check out the owner's suite. We're gonna check out the gym, and we're gonna check out the, uh, I would say, the, the movie theater, which is up there with some of the coolest movie theaters I've seen. As you can see here, we are in the owner's suite. You have double height ceiling, and of course, super picturesque windows. So you have four more bedrooms over here, right? Four more bedrooms right here. You have the uh, Jack and Jill upstairs. Jack and Jill downstairs. It's nice because the kids' bedrooms aren't too close, but you also have rooms like this, which actually break up the house, which is nice. And this can be a playroom, hangout, playroom, game room. Loft, game room, homework room. And the way that it also was set up was if you wanted to, you could lock off this door. You have a door that uh, closes here, you lock it, and now you're completely separate, the main house to what could or at one point may have even been the guest house because there's a guest room, gym, movie theater. Kind of, well, as the husband in this house says, this is his area. Let's go check it out. This is a proper theater. And what was interesting when we were walking around with the homeowners, which I always like to hear, do people use the theater? Because most of the time, nobody uses their theater. Oh, I, I just saw a shooting star. Did you see it? Watch this. We can all see a shooting star together. You ready? Oh, <laughs> look at that. How cool is that? So they actually use this all the time, right? Every single day. He's watching movies in here, regular TV, reading in here. He just uses this room day in and day out. Not a day goes by where they're not sitting here and, and using this theater. So this is nice. I mean, there's so many big bonus rooms in here uh, in the house where you can do really whatever you want to do. When you get hot and you're done working out and building up sweat, right behind us, we have that indoor pool that you can just check jump right in. that out. This is amazing. Look, if you don't like perfect weather outside on a perfect day, well, you can come inside with this beautiful light and get the same thing you're getting outside. So you got the hot tub, mm -hmm. and then you got the swimmer's pool, right? Swimmer's pool, and then you have, again, don't forget, arts everywhere. So you have the art mosaic right on the wall there. And this is a swimmer's pool, as mentioned. You actually turn, uh, turn it on, and a current comes out of this over here, and it comes out so strong that you can swim and do laps in this pool while you're stationary. Yeah, it's like the Michael Phelps uh, vibe in here, which I like, and you got the towel rack behind you that's heated, of course, and also what's great is you can lock this, 
from the inside, your pool guy comes around from the outside, doesn't need to come through the house. So over here you have an office as well. So you got the movie theater, gym, pool, office. You can block this wing off. It's kind of the entertainment wing. And then we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna end the tour by the pool. This is like the pool house. It also has, you know, a bed that comes out so you can sleep here. It can be the guest house. Really just the, the entertaining area, I guess, for the kids. So over here, just on the other side of the pool house, a professional bocce ball court right this here. Bounce. There's a little bounce here. That is not the Gucci loafers that you're seeing bounce. That's the ground. One shot. Whoever hits this ball gets to keep the commission. Oh, you went a little too strong. Coming out. Oh, I think I'm close to there. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. He works his ass off. He can keep the commission. Let's go check out more. We're going to end the tour here uh, where you got this beautiful pool. I love it. Zero edge pool on that side. Uh, overflowing infinity into the bird sanctuary, into the mountains over here, uh, into your over eight acre lot. Check it out. Altman Brothers' newest listing, 6002 Via Posada del Norte, north side Fairbanks Ranch, little over eight acres, over 12,500 square feet, contemporary ranch that you will not find anywhere else. I love it. Jason Sachs, Altman Brothers assassin here down in San Diego. Thanks for hanging with us today. Let's go, let's go.